To create the Skillion Roof, first of all make sure you're on the Roof Tool. I'm going to use the regular rectangle geometry method, so I left mouse click on that. First bit of roof I put down is going to be 25 degrees, so I left mouse click once on the edge of the slab, drag out my pitching line, and click again. The eye is asking me which way do I want the roof to rise, of course I want it to rise to the centre of the roof, and I'm just going to draw a little section of a roof, because when the roofs are different pitches, it's pretty difficult to guess where they're going to intersect. Now I'm going to create another piece of roof that might be 10 degree pitch, and I'll click on the edge here, drag out my pitching line, left mouse click again, want the roof to rise in the middle, click with my left mouse button again, then I'm going to draw another short piece of roof. So if I go to the 3D window now, we can see I've got two short pieces of roof and you can see they're at different pitches. I'm going to close that now I'm going to select this piece of roof by holding the shift key left mouse clicking on it and then by holding the control key or the apple key I go up to the opposite edge that I want this roof plane to touch so once this roof is selected I go to this edge of this roof when the Mercedes cursor comes up I'm holding the control key down left mouse click and that shoots that piece of roof up to the imaginary joining point. So I'm going to deselect that by left mouse clicking outside of the building area. Select the opposite roof and repeat the process. Hold the control key down, left mouse click and now we can see that they're joined. So if I go to the 3D window, we can see there's my roof. So if I was to do this even in 3D it works. If I left mouse click on that and let's say I change the pitch of that to 45. The funny thing about this is in floor plan it should still look exactly the same and as we know it's incorrect so I'm just going to go back to the floor plan and we can see that these functions work exactly the same in 3D. So if I want this roof, if I select this roof and then I want that roof to intersect this plane here, I wait for the Mercedes cursor to come up, hold the control or apple key down and left mouse click. You can see it's found the intersection. Now I'm going to select this roof and go to this intersection and left mouse click and once again we have the perfect join. And we can see it's correct in floor plan also.